Hey guys, this is Average Scale Modeler 77 with another update on my Accurate Miniatures IL-2 Stormovic with skis. This is a single seater. I'm not sure what update this is because it's been a while, maybe three or four, but I've neglected to do them lately, so I decided right now just to go ahead and do one. Um, basically, what I've been doing is a little bit of assembly, uh, some painting, a lot of painting. I mean, I painted the underside intermediate blue now it's supposed to be Russian underside blue but my uh, hobby store didn't have it so I had intermediate blue uh, for some reason I got to just realize I had fingerprints on here I don't know why might have to see if I can get those off because those are kind of irritating me but uh, that's what we have right now uh, I like the blue I mean it's darker than what it should be but I kind of like the contrast it gives to the white um, as you had, as you can see, I had a dip down right there, and that's what I've been doing on the underside. Now another thing that I was been working on are the skis, and these were a little bit complicated. You can see all these parts right here that all had to go in there, like the braces and all that. Um, and one problem I did have with the skis, um, well, I had a few of them, but the first one I had uh, was with this piece right here. Now this piece is supposed to go all the way across here and that's what uh, this part of the ski attaches to. However for some reason when I put them on and tried to put the engine cowling onto the um, the plane itself it didn't fit. Like there was a pretty big gap and I don't know just didn't fit at all. So what I had to do was actually take a razor and uh, chop the pieces off that I needed. So it was like this piece right here, then I chopped off this piece right here. So this piece, um, this whole part right here wasn't used. I just used the two ends right here. So I had two separate pieces of those and just glued those in right in here so I could attach this piece right here. Um, that was pretty complicated to be honest. It sounded simple. It sounds simple, but it took me about an hour to figure out exactly what I had to do. And that was just one problem with them. Another one was, um, I didn't notice it at the time, but when I started putting these uh, brace pieces on here, I realized that one of these things is actually not aligned properly. This one here is aligned properly. It's straight and all that, everything matches up, but on here, it, it's a little bit this way. It's a little bit bent like that. So um, one of these holes that this brace goes into wasn't clear. So I kind of had to glue it on top of the hole, not in the hole. But you really can't tell. I mean, it went on fine. They're straight now. So really no problem there after all that. Um, so that's that. If you haven't seen my post in the M build, I did paint this flat white. Um, well, I think I told you that in the last one, my bad. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm getting kind of confused since it's been a while. But this is what I have right now. The propeller is something I'm working on as of this moment. Because uh, I didn't really want to fit correctly. Because, um, let me pull it up on the instructions. Uh, let's see, right here. So, this is what I've been working on for the past hour or two. The propeller assembly. I painted the propeller and all that. And the exhaust too. Um, but this part right here didn't want to sit inside the engine cowling. It wanted to stick out a little bit, so I had to shave it down a little bit, and then, as well as in the cowling, take off a little bit of plastic there, so it fit nicely. And I got it pretty much where I want it. The propeller spins, like most plane kits, and really nothing too bad about it. Maybe I'll do some tweaking on that, but yeah, I just knocked it off. That's great. <laughs> but this is what I have right now. Um, I have to do the uh, cannons. I think they were. I had to glue those in here. Um, some other little tiny things right there, and I had to put the skis on still, and uh, that brings me to another point. This uh, diagram to give you is really vague, right here, in regards to this piece and all that, because you have to actually take this fork out right here, and apparently the instructions say these are bungee cords in real life but whatever. So you have to take this part out and rotate it 90 degrees. Now it looks like you take it and bend it 
but it, you actually have to take it and rotate it uh, 90 degrees. You also have to take off 5 30 seconds of this brace piece, which is, I think, kind of dumb. Like, couldn't they have done that already? But you have to do that, and I'm still unclear about how it glues in to right here. I looked at some pictures, I tried to look further ahead in the instructions, like right here. And basically what I'm getting was the fork piece attaches to the back of the ski. And then this piece will face down towards the plane's wings like that. I can't really explain it really well, it's really complicated. Because it says put this piece right here, this piece right here, into the location pin. But I really don't know what location pin they're talking about because there's no clear fit of what it is. So that was kind of confusing. I'm still a little confused about that, but I think I get the gist of it. Um, but I mean, that's that. I mean, not to do the rockets uh, on there. I'm not sure if I'll put the bombs on. I might just leave them off. I like the rockets. That'll look fine. Then the canopy. Not really sure how that fits yet. I haven't dry fitted it. But I'm not expecting anything too bad. Um, so that's pre pretty much it with the aisle two. Now, I'm pretty much done with this, so the next video should be the reveal. And I think I have my next entry into the M build all lined up. I was thinking about doing that Mustang that I got from my friend, but since I'm getting the Flame Panzer this weekend, it has an eminent, it has two. Um, I think I'll make that my second entry into the M build, so that'll be really fun to work on. So thanks for watching, and I will catch y'all later. Bye.